A lot of entry-level office jobs would have you looking at spreadsheets and comparing columns upon columns of data. Not only is this painstaking task hard on the eyes, but it's also very much prone to human error. Stick around to find out a few ways you can use formulas and other Excel tools to make this task easier and more accurate. Suppose we have two columns consisting of names and we want to know which names are unique for each column. If we're dealing with a table as small as this, it'd be pretty easy to do it manually. If it gets larger though, it'd take tons of time and it could be prone to errors. Fret not because we can use this formula. In the cells next to the table, type in this formula. A2 is the first cell inside column A that you want to compare with column B. And range B2 to B14 refers to another column you want to compare. After that, press the Enter key. Drag the fill handle down and you should get the unique values for that column. To do the other column, you can use the fill handle to drag it over to the right. Because we lock the match array and not our reference cells, all we have to do here is to turn the range from B2 to B14 to A2 to A15. When we drag it all the way down, we can see that the list item turns 0. That's because there is no value in the reference cell, so we can just take that out. That's one method of comparing two columns, but I'm pretty sure you can see where this method shows its limits. If we're dealing with a larger column of data, it kind of defeats the purpose of it because we have to reach all the way down to compare. Nevertheless, this method does help. The next method of comparing columns in Excel is comparing if they match by row. The simplest way of doing that is a simple true or false. To do that, all we have to do is type in the cell beside it equals B3 equals C3. This would basically assess if the value in cell B3 is the same as in cell C3. It returns true if it matches and false if it doesn't, as we can see here. If you're comparing text values, this method is not case sensitive. So as you can see here, the capitalization is different, but it still shows true because the text value is intrinsically the same. If you want to get an exact match or a case sensitive check, you can use the exact function. This function works by inputting two cells with values and it assesses it if those two are an exact match. Just like the first one, it returns a true or false value. Unlike the previous method, this method is case sensitive. So it will show false if there's a difference in capitalization or even if there's a trailing hidden space. You can spice this function up by nesting it inside an if function. We can type in this formula. If the exact function in the condition portion gives off true, it will say match. If it says false, then it will say mismatch. You could do the same thing if you wanted the non-case sensitive method. Just replace the exact function in the condition portion with b3 equals c3. The same formula could also be used with conditional formatting to highlight matched and unmatched data. Head over to the Home tab, Conditional Formatting, New Rule, and we want to select the last option so we could input our own custom formula. We're simply going to input the formula from a while ago, so that is equals dollar sign b3 equals dollar sign c3 set the formatting and click ok it highlights all the values that return true 
which are your matches. In case you want to do the opposite, just switch up the equal symbol to the not equal symbol, which are these less than and greater than symbols. Click OK and it highlights the rows that are mismatched. The last method we're going to be talking about is using Visual Basic for Applications to run a script to automatically highlight the matched cells. Open up your VBA window by pressing Alt F11. Click Insert, then Module, and copy and paste this string which you can find in the blog post I'll be linking in the description. Press F5 to run the code. In the dialog box, select the columns you want to compare duplicate values with. Click OK and we can see the ones that are case sensitive duplicates highlighted. You can change the highlight color by changing the color index in the code. You can also find a guide to those colors in the linked blog post. That's a few ways of using formulas to automate comparing two columns in Excel. Got any of your own? Leave them in the comments down below. If you found this useful, please smash that like button and subscribe to Simple Sheets for more Excel content. I'll see you guys on the next one.